Happy Homebrew Wednesday. So I went to get gas and uh, lo and behold, we have a Weihen Steffener Fest beer coming in at 5.8% ABV. This is, uh, as you can see, it's the imported version, so it's a 11.2 ounce bottle. <laughs> Who drinks 11.2 ounce bottles of beer? I guess Americans. Well, something can be said for small bottles. I mean, you can, I guess what you have will stay cold longer. But you're going to go through a lot more of them. So, I realize it's not a home brew. However, at some time, this was a home brew. Tell me much about it. Oops. A little too aggressive. And I think it's probably not cold enough either. Yeah, what do you think? A little too aggressive of a pour? Nice color. Damn. <laughs> well, I guess you don't want me pouring your beer. Well, you know, actually, when you consider the beer to head ratio to the top of the glass, it looks like I might. Uh, might work out okay. Yeah, in Germany, this would probably be a perfect pour. See? To the brim of the glass. See, that's a perfect pour in Germany. Uh, I think we got the wrong size glass for the bottle. I don't have any good 330 size glasses. This is actually a 500. See, here's it's 500 to here. So the rest should be foam. But since this is a 330 milliliter bottle of beer, we're not going to have that. So, tastes like foamy beer. Yeah, wasn't the refrigerator long enough. Not as cold as I like it. We'll get around that, I'm sure. bad for a fest beer. Um, but it'd be best, much better if it was cooler. So I'll put the next one in the freezer so I can cool it down and put it at the temperature I want. Even here, you know, store dark and keep cool. 46 to 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Even to drink a beer, you gotta keep it at the right temperature. So it's gonna be a short homebrew Wednesday. Um, we're going on a trip in a couple weeks, so can't be brewing any beer. We'll be doing some brewing when I come back, tell you what. Oh, yeah, before I end this video, I'm gonna, I'm going to show a clip. Uh, Show one of our homegrown uh, cherry tomatoes. It's orangish right now. We've already had uh, three cherry tomatoes from the plant. So this looks like number four coming up. So it could be a small crop uh, this year. But hey, life is good. Life with beer is better. <laughs> Cheers.
Alrighty, so we have a face-off between the Behind Stefaner Fest beer and the Paul Honor Oktoberfest beer, as you can see. Colors are very similar, very close. My wife poured these beer in the, the beers in the glasses, so I don't know which is which. Okay, so yeah, colors very close. Now I don't know how she did the pour, uh, but I can see that this one, the foam is lasting a lot longer. Interesting. What else we got? Appears like the carbonation's about the same otherwise. So this one seems like it's a little bit more alcohol uh, aroma. Smooth, a little bittering at the end. Also smooth, it's a little bittering at the end. Uh, Mouthfeel, this has got a little bit more um, sprightly mouthfeel to it. Wow, I thought that it would be easier than this. Um, I don't have a clear winner or loser. They're both very similar. I mean, I would think after having one beer, one beer, I definitely wouldn't be able to tell the two. I know she didn't pour two of the same type in one glass because there wasn't enough cold beer for her to do that. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to give them a tie. Uh, but I would say that this one uh, has the more fizzy, uh, more fizzy effect in your mouth. 
than this one. Mrs. Waller? Yeah. I need to know which is which. So, they're about the same. The only difference I can taste is this is a little bit fizzier. Otherwise, the uh, aroma is about the same. This one had a, a little bit more alcohol aroma. But always, the color seems the same. And the I taste. taste this guy? So this is the Vahein Stefaner? Okay. Interesting. So this is the Paul Honor. And this is the Vahein Stefaner. So the Vahein Stefaner had the little more spritzy flavor. And now you can say I'm a two-fisted drinker. Cheers. Have a good day. Oh, I just broke the chair.